Morning, people. It is Monday morning. It's fresh, isn't it? Fresh, fresh, fresh Monday morning. And we're obviously back on the barn this week. Uh, so, yeah. Ah! <laughs> like and subscribe. We've, the subscribers are trickling. They're trickling in. I, I do I do think, though, Jack, when we set the like goal the other day of 500, I think we fell short of about 70 likes. We, yeah, we got to four, yeah, 4.30ish, which is Didn't we? incredible. Yeah. Well, if, you, if you if you see it as uh, we get about two two thousand views per video, we've only got about two and a half thousand subs. So if you do the the algorithm and the percentage, <laughs> five hundred likes for that many subs and stuff is pretty good. It's almost like D and J projects getting thirty five thousand likes for their seventy thousand subscribers. Exactly. Yeah, fifty percent likes versus subscribers. If you're not subscribed yet. Go down, take your little cursor down, or take, run your finger down, press the subscribe button. It only takes a couple of minutes, Cu doesn't it, Jack? A couple of seconds at best. Yeah. And you'll be subscribed to this wonderful they content. They don't know what that does to us, do they? They don't. It cheers us right up, doesn't it? Honestly, I I am absolutely obsessed with the subscriber. I like, oh, we've got another one, we've got another one, then we lose one, and I'm, I'm in bits. Uh, yeah, but, I had to console you last week, didn't yeah. I? Yeah. Anyway, stay tuned, guys. It's uh, another Dane's Low Weekly. Yes. Yep, yep. 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 Good morning. Good morning. We are on site. On site. Uh, final uh, final prep work for concrete boarding. So we've got to put some lovely brackets. The, the farmer has made us some lovely brackets over the weekend. Got to put those at 10 foot up from the bottom, from that mortar course, 10 foot up brackets, timbers, all the way on the front and back. We need to get timbers in the web, on the up and down on the angle, same at the back. And obviously to, to drill the holes, we've brought our lovely mag drill. Lovely bit of kit. We did look at buying the <coughs> Milwaukee battery one, which would have been perfect for this job. Uh, but we very rarely use it out of the workshop, so we thought we'd just get the 240 standard plug, which means we are going to have to trail a cable up. But for the extra 1500 quid, the Milwaukee one, we can do that. Paying 1500 quid, I'll trail a cable up. Lovely. What we did get as well was loads and loads of bits for it, ranging from absolute behemoths. I think, I think it's 40 mil, yeah, 40 mil bit down to 10 mil. Lovely little set. What's that? A new chalk. Nice. So first job, guys, is to make sure that we're setting our level right. So <clears throat> this front side is two sheets, but the side is one sheet. So we've got we know we've got seven foot sheets going down that side, which gives us our base point, our datum. So from there we can then make sure that all these sheets are level, and we thought we'd bring the trusty laser along so we could mark the entire length, because we've got openings and doorways to make sure they're all in line uh, with the seven foot sheets on that side. And then we should have a lovely run of sheets all around the bottom. That then also sets our height for the timber work to fix the tops to. Yep. So we're getting set up for it, guys. We're gonna get up there. We're gonna measure from our marks, 10 foot top of timber mark out for the holes, mag drill the holes, bolt the brackets on, measure up the timber, get Connor and Andy to cut the timber, pass it up, mark the holes, bring it down, they'll drill the holes, put it back up, bolt it on, work our way along. Sounds relatively straightforward. So guys, we are up 
in the basket, in the cage, putting these timbers on. You would have just seen the time lapse. So the process is we are measuring from the bottom line, marking, mag drilling, bracket bolting, timber measuring, bolting timber, done. Move to the next bay. Probably a little uh, production line we've got going on up here. Nice tool bench, all the tools we need. Got chunky behind the wheel. Uh, bit of an issue then guys, we put the timber on, it didn't look very level, so we measured it and realised that what happened is that Connor levelling the bottom had levelled on the bottom of the level and Andy had marked the top of the level, thus giving us a two inch, three inch uh, difference. But luckily, you see, thinking up there for thinking, down there for dancing, we just span the bracket round and that works a treat. So it's more of a hanger than a bracket, but it still works. So a bit different on this one guys, we've got a, a timber going up the middle here. We've got to do a bit of a, bit of a notchy notch, notch, notch. So we're going to get it notched round. We're going to notch round that timber aren't we? We are going to notch round it. And then we're going to it. affix it to the, uh, the uh, new brackets that the farmer has kindly made us. I've never worked for a customer that's been so organised and knows his own shed so well. Like look, so for example, he knew that this was a H-beam, I-beam, universal beam, universal whatever you want to call it. I mean, all three of them are about So mentioned. he made the brackets with this hole offset and he's made one for each side offset in the right direction. Yeah. And, and we've uh, come in today and they're all ready, all ready for us to install. I've, I reckon if we sat down, you could have a, 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 a probably an hour or two conversation about how this shed was made. You probably could. For example, oh, well, they're not really this side, are they? There are some strange brackets back there, which are like angle, two sets of angle welded together to make a right angle, angle, angle for the dangle. That's brilliant. It is good, isn't it? We're nearly there. Just got this, this timber to put in, this timber to put in. Are we putting a timber in it on these ends? Yeah, that's what I'm on about. So we're gonna have to have some sort of, no, I'll just, drill up through just cut the angle, drill up through and bolt. Lovely. He went to New Chip this morning, didn't he? Yeah, Chunky went to Cavanum. 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 This morning, not a load. We loaded it with the digger at the yard and annoyingly only had 13 tonnes on and he can take in 16. Of course, it's the same price, so they were more expensive per tonne today. Need to get a wire put on the ground. So that's the timber work all done this time. We've got to put one more uh, of these little bits here at that end and then timber inside the web. We're not putting it upside up there, are we? Top beam, top beam. Uh, and then we can actually start fixing uh, cement boards, which will be joyous. Back on site, guys, after lunch. We're going to get the rest of these timbers in and what we do have is the police helicopter about again you may have seen on a previous episode when the hair courses were around and that's generally why it's up over here is because the hair courses are about so somewhere in the vicinity are some hair courses i'd imagine 
Yeah, let me see him. I don't think you can see him just yet, but yeah, the police have got. Although it's hovering over the farm. That would be anxious, I reckon. So maybe, uh, yeah, yeah, who knows? So who knows where the courses are? Spot the courses. They're circling us now. I don't know what we've done. We didn't go hair course on our lunch. They're searching for them. Up in the cage, guys. We've now got the first bit of timber on there. We're gonna get the second one along here. Obviously, we can't get the drill in at that end, it's too tight. So we're attaching it to this timber at that end and then bolting it up to the steel at this end. Same all the way up. These mag drills really are a wonderful bit of kit. Look at it, look. Perfect holes. None of the ball ache of having to hold a drill up. Glides through. The only thing this one is doing is leaking uh, lubricant. So maybe when we do um, any other drilling other than vertical, we uh, need to take this reservoir off. So it keeps dripping out there, look. Horrible. And also, Connor's on filming. I've got a cameraman with me today. Every extra mission, every enemy listening, get off my dick. I got bad intentions, make it right every wrong, and I'm back with a vengeance. I show you the ropes, peace in my town. I can show you the coast. Up in the shots if they wanted to smoke. If you know, then you know. Suit it up, my whole team do the same. Don't you forget who created the game. Ready for war, I was born with grenades. The trenches with soldiers are made. Let's see how you do under pressure. Let's see how you do under pressure. Give them a name to remember. Let's see how you do under pressure. Yeah. Let's see how you do under pressure. A moment can live on forever. Okay. Let's see how you do under pressure. Yeah. Let's see how you do under pressure. Give them a name to remember. Okay. Okay. Hey. Let's see how you do under pressure. Yeah. Let's see how you do under pressure. A moment can live on forever. Okay. Okay. We're getting there now, guys. We're just doing the last section we're gonna see if we can get one in here but I don't think the mag drill is gonna fit in this gap. Whoa. It's not gonna fit in there is it? Okay. Yep I don't know. So what we do is cut that in half. The mag drill cut the mag drill uh, Connor uh get the mag drill won't fit in here because of the gap. So Connor's idea is to Cut the mag drill in half and they'll get in there then. We thought we'd seen the last of the police helicopter, but then someone rang them because Connor wanted to cut a mag drill in half. Hey! Look, they're, right, they're literally right above us. If it was courses, I'm surprised they've come back as quick. They're properly hovering over here somewhere. I'll uh, have to get my drone out later and do a bit of a hair coursing uh, chase. Properly time consuming job that, but they're all in. So we've got the this line of timber that wasn't there in, and that picks up the top of the bottom board and the bottom of the top board. And we've now got the timber, and unlike the short roof, because these are bigger boards, that roof we went inside the web uh, with screws, 
This side we've drilled through the web and bolted uh, where the mag drill fits and then fixed to the lower brackets where it doesn't. So it is substantially strong. Yes, well it's getting on a bit now. It was always gonna be a long job, this timber stuff. We've only got to do the back now. So the back needs the same timbers as the front. So one at 10 foot and then the top beam. Yeah, we'll get that smashed out tomorrow morning and start boarding. Because this side's gonna be a doddle. Because this side is just seven foot, seven foot sheets the whole way down. Yeah, it's just seven foot sheets the whole way down. So they sit where that line is just there, all the way along. And I imagine that last bay, they might be shorter. They're about a block below. I mean, they might just, they might just touch the floor at that far end. Just. But yeah, good day, a good day bolting up timber. It's one of those things though, it's just, it's an extra day of work but then it's an extra, I don't know, how many years of longevity, so it's worth it. Yes, right, I'm gonna help tidy up. Good morning, all of you wonderful people. It's Tuesday, Tuesday AM, and we're all a bit lethargic today, well I am especially. I'm suffering from uh, one of Britain's biggest uh, workplace killers. Uh, something that many people have a day off with, and that's a bad back. That's what I'm suffering from today and yesterday. So yesterday afternoon, I had a bit of an easy one. Uh, but we're all back on it today. We're back on it today, ready to crack on. And uh, the one day we want to crack on, and we've heard it's going to be a dry week, and it's gim wet, look. Pissing it down out here it is. Chunky's up on the electrical cabinet up here, look. He's gonna take it to bits. Over here. Because I'm doing a bit of welding up in my workshop on the camper van and it keeps tripping. So we're gonna nick the breaker out of this one, put it up there. So yeah, but it's all go, go, go. We have uh, timber work to do today. And then we're going to start putting on these concrete fibre sheets and see how far we get. That's all we can do. Plan accordingly. Hopefully the rain stops and dries up a bit so we can get on. But we sent a couple of quotes this morning. Went and looked at a couple of quotes last week. Uh, the work is slowly trickling in. The quotes are picking up and we're winning uh, a bigger percentage of quotes than we done at the beginning of the year. So it's 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 slowly getting back on track. It is, it is. Hello, welcome to a very wet, uh, not very wet, wettish Tuesday morning. Yesterday, obviously we got all them timbers up. We've got to do the same again on the back of the shed. But today we thought we'd get these sides boarded. So the first concrete boards are going up. So we're gonna start with seven foot boards. Seven seven foot boards along this edge, along edge. and the hope is because he's got the same profile that the shuts the little nubs of concrete sticking out so we're talking to nubs <laughs> how dare you uh, how dare you nub oh a f e r there you go wait uh nubs of concrete sticking out it should fit in the ribs lovely a f e r uh when you touch the screen it's the focus locks and it says a f AR oh, that's something. maybe the problem I've been having. Yeah, and then you can't focus on anything else other than what you focused on initially. Right. Here's uh, one man and his ladder, look. That's what we're focusing on, look. Here's a window cleaner. Hey, Chunky. Hey. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, mentally, I'm feeling full of beans today. Physically, I'm full. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, Sam had fewer than one bean. They don't, the viewers at home wouldn't see me as... Um, a broken man. But I told them that yesterday I had to take it easy because I was suffering from Britain's worst day off problem, which is a bad back. Yeah. Basically. Yeah, it's called takeaway itis. Yeah, but I know that, that all that does is exacerbate the problem. <laughs> the problem's already there. It just exacerbates it. Yeah. Yeah, so seven foot boards, get these all up. This will be all boarded, ready for barge boards and guttering. I'm going to say, what's the time now? 
it's half past eight on a Tuesday morning. I'm going to say that by 10.30, this is boarded. Yeah. All right? Yeah, it's lovely. And there's no fixings on the joins. It's, each board is individually fixed up. That's what I'm going for, two hours. Yeah, two hours. And he's getting the forklift, getting the seven foot boards over there. And we are going to crack the hell on. Yep. So we're starting on this side, guys. Obviously, the shuts, squeaky, the shuts broke off here, so we need to make sure we get it right for the start so that the profile fits over these shuts. Happy there? Oh, hold up there, Jack. Yeah. So, first sheet up, guys. We had to put the second sheet on to get the mark. Went back, leveled the sheet up. Two fixing at the top, two fixings at the bottom. Bosh. All the way down. I, uh, I feel a time lapse coming on. Uh, a little update for you. It's uh, what's the time, Jack? Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. So half hour we've been at it, and we're getting there. Look, look at this. Doesn't oh, yeah. it look? I told sexy. them that we, I told them we had to line up the shuts, and we lined up the shuts perfectly. Until we got to there and realised the shuts had all moved along because the concrete had broken off. So we had to take them off again. Yeah, there was a half inch gap in the concrete. We thought, hang on a minute, it looks like a bit of a puzzle here. So we joined it back up, realised we were out. So we moved them to them two boards, that one and that one, that about, one, yeah, about an inch. and that one, back. So we reset them and now we're on a lovely, lovely straight line. All right, another hour will be done, mate. You know what I mean, mate? Then we're going to get barge boards up on this side, ready for guttering. Just making progress, aren't we, Jack? We are, mate. Do you know what I mean? We're trying our hardest on this job to make it uh, not last as long as possible, make it look good. <laughs> make it look good, because we've got to get into another job. What yeah. We Monday, we're meant to be concreting at a farm. But we're, we're, we're going to put it off for a couple of days, I reckon, and get this finished. It's amazing how we've got so many little bits to do on this job, and they all take time. <coughs> but we will get it done. Yeah, that we'll is correct. Done. Won't we, Andrew? Yeah, we'll get, we'll get this done. Not a problem. Not a problem, we say, look. This is the Daneslow team here, look, and Andrew is the only one not in Daneslow uniform as usual. We pick him up on it as much as we can, but he seems not to listen. Does he, Jack? <laughs> I've got him something from the curtains, haven't I? <laughs> Right, people, it is 10.35 in the a.m. of Tuesday morning. We gave you a bit of a deadline of 10.30. So we didn't meet that deadline. We missed it by five, five minutes. But that whole side, complete. Not bad for two hours work. Nice and level. Lovely. So that is that side all done in two hours. So yeah, might get the barge boards on now, or go over the other side and do the same. Not sure, but I'm sure you'll see. So guys, making sure we take our date, we're gonna do the other side now, we need to take our datum point around the building, which means using the laser to set a mark on the gate over there and then resetting the laser to take a mark around the side. Lovely. There's probably a more uh, expert way of doing it, but that's how I'm going to do it. Watch this space. Mm -hmm. 
go for lunch. So we've taken our level round, guys, although this side's less important, really, because that corner where the front and sides meet, yeah, there's a there's a wall, so you won't see the join. So we can step if we need to, but seven foot should fall roughly where that mark is just there. And then obviously we've got to take it round this side. So you will see it this side actually. So it will matter that the well, we can measure off the board for these timbers then. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, because that's well, this is where it will matter. And then we've got bits to do on that shed, little bits to do there. So guys, what we've got here is the shed part of the build that we shot the, uh, in, the, in the job. Okay, the banging stops. Right. While we're in for coffee, and I'll give the dog a salad. It's on you there, look. So what we've got here is that this shed was added after they boarded. So they built the shed to the barn around the boards. So we couldn't get a board in behind here because the shuts were tight. So we've had to knock these shuts off, take this wall down a bit to give us enough space. So we've taken the shuts off to the next join. So we should be able to sort of shimmy this board in, get it to here and then start on the shuts again. So we're gonna have the same issue here, guys. You can see, look, we've got We've got to cut that bit out, take the shuts off, because we won't get a board in. If the roof wasn't on yet, we might have been able to slide one down from the top down, but it would have just been, it would have been a nightmare, guys. So. Yeah, can do, yeah. yeah. Skippy feet, Jack and the beat. Boom to the get to the getting areas and the chicka pound, chicka pound, chicka pound. Right, you get it up on that lip, Andy. Right, slowly towards me. Take your end towards the board, Connor. Take your end towards the existing board. Work. Right, slowly. Come on, let the top's catch him. Push the top in towards the board. Keep it like that. Hang on. Push that bow out. Mm -hmm. Hang on, hang on, slowly. Right, how many more ribs? Right on. Yeah? Right, now what, up? What, up to where are you? Are you, both, are you both in the shots? Yeah? Cool. Level. Are you sure that's the right ribs? You looked off to the joint. No, because it fucking. I came off as well. Yeah. Five and eight in spider. Yeah. Right. Strike, you get the level. Strike, you hold that there. Try and get the level and get it to Jack. You got that one? Yeah. You move on that side. Get the level, Strike. Get it out, Jackie, baby. Can you see up there, can you, Chucky? Right. So we're just, just doing that. Yeah, we're pretty, we're pretty bob on, man. Oh, 
we go. Right, so we've taken the shuts off again, as you can see, uh, taken the block wall down. This one is a bit tighter, and obviously because we ended so close to the wall, we're gonna try and bring it in from this side and then shimmy it over that lap, la, lap, 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 lip. It's lapped over the lip. Technical, technical terms. All right, let's see if we can do this. Top. Put a level on it, Connor, if you can. Put the laser in there. So those last two sheets were a little bit less painful than we expected. Getting them in behind the, uh, in the shed. Just put everything away, you can go have a spot of lunch. Mm -hmm. One hour later. We're back on site guys. We are back on site. So much for a dry day, hey. Uh, it's wet and puppy. It's it is a bit now, wet, isn't it? So we're gonna get this side you finished. That's uh, where over wheels, mothers, mate. That's where wheels, mothers. We're going to get this end finished. We've got to take, we've got to cut a hole out for the uh, oil line, just where it sticks out, and then it sits behind the boards, and then obviously cut it around here. The sheet should finish this side. We're going to have to cut this last board to finish here, and then this side is complete. Fab to know what that means. We knew it was going to be a bit of jiggery poker in here, guys, but we've had to cut back this roof truss. Truss is it? Is it a truss? Is it, Matt? That's a truss. Yeah, roof truss. And then we're going to put a, a bit of timber on the steel, and then fix that to a stretcher over the top of the sheet. Uh, luckily, the oil pipeline can fit behind the sheet. All right, this bit old pipe though. I guess I have to fit. Fit below a drippy roof. Right, wait, 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 wait. All that So we've finished the other side onto barge boards now, ready to fix guttering to. Taking shape this side. Barge boards this side all done. Look at that. Barge to the board, to the barge to the board. You know why they're calling barge boards? Why? They used to be on a boat. Oh. 
That's the fun fact of the day. There you go, head here first, guys. Uh, so we're going to get this roof on. Now, for some reason, he decided to concrete board it, not tin it. So concrete board on here. Now we'll have to do the guttering from the roof. And also, me and Connor were doing the uh, the, the tin boy, I guess they, at the top. And uh, we couldn't find our template. We couldn't find where our template went. And uh, we found it. We found it today. There it is. So let's go and get that later. The police helicopter's back about today. They obviously didn't catch who they caught yesterday. They're hoping they're still about. Don't know who they're trying to catch. One man on his ladder. He's stuck, he is. Can't get out, he can't. Push it towards you, no? Lovely. He's out, guys. He's out. With what? What, sharp and a pencil? <laughs> All done on site, Tuesday. We've got that side over there, around that side, all boarded and barge board. That side around there, all boarded and barge board. And the little garden shed roof done. Bosh. Tomorrow we're gonna to start on the front. 10 foot boards all the way through. Bosh. And then it's onto the cuts. Lovely. We are planning on being done by the end of this week. Uh, the only real time consuming job left is the timber work on the back that involves getting up in the cage so probably Wednesday on that anyway back to the yard right another day Dane's low Dane's low done Connor has done some uh, uber close parking of Vera he has and, 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 there is there is air there is a, there is daylight there is daylight we should leave enough gap between vehicles did you not see that video recently that uh, there's a video of people parking uh sports cars in some flashy well like ferraris and literally it's like millimeters together we have space i'll see if i can clip clip we have space we do we have so space no, no excuse for it. right sorry. i'm gonna give connor a lift home chunky did you take the breaker out chunky did you drop the power out the entire yard no that means yes luckily it was all saved right home time see you tomorrow guys Babes, Fruit and Veg Emporium, we've just been here to get the morning coffees and I must say, what a bloody, bloody, absolutely chunky! chunky. What a scrumptious, absolutely delicious, creamy, hot, lovely coffee, these uh, Toshibos. Toshibo. Toshibos really are, Dave. You've done well getting this machine, mate. Better than Costa. It's better than the lot. Better than Wild Bean. Plus fruit syrup, so a bit of sugar-free hazelnut. Of, yeah, and we got coffee cards. So today, my one was free because Jack let me go in front of him, which is very kind of him. But yesterday, uh, the whole team got a free coffee other than Sam, Dave. Yeah, Dave said he had one in the bank, though. Yeah, did he? He did. He's a good bloke, Dave. He has called him from the back office. Dave! Dave, 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 Dave where's my free coffee, mate? Dave, free coffee, Dave, what Dave will do, though, is he'll put a note on the counter, won't you, Dave, for the next, uh, <laughs> next time I'm in and you're not there. And uh, I get a free coffee. But yeah, go on. No worries, thank you very much. Um, yes, he does. 
supply a nice coffee, I must say. Uh, Connor gets a, what do you get, Connor? Coffee, no, you don't just get a coffee, do you, though? I do get a coffee. Hazelnut mocha. Connor, you're a difficult individual. What did you get? There's no swearing on this on this uh, YouTube <laughs> column, mate. Caramel mocha. What did you get, Jack? Uh, I got a hazelnut latte. A hazelnut latte. I'll just go for the box standard latte with four sugars. Uh, yes, yeah, because the sugars there are actually only a thimble full. So four in one is just about uh, a, a, a single sugar. So yeah, Connor's being a prick right now. Get a about that, mate. You'll get a comment in a minute, and one of them will be your. So we've just turned up to site, guys. The roofing job, the re-roofing of the barn job, which is going quite well. As, I mean, as, far, as far as we know, uh, there's a there's another roofing firm here. Well, we're not a roofing firm as, as no, I we're say. not. No, we're we're friends of the farmer, and we can do the work. So hopefully, this guy's not driven past and gone. What a bunch of idiots! I'm going to go in there and tout for work. Uh, He'll be getting a few choice words from Andrew and a little visit if he knows that. <laughs> uh, we best go and see what's Have going on. Try one of these jokes. Was it an almond slice? Almonds. Almond, almond fingers. fingers. Yeah, you brought chunky or you brought some down the yard. Oh, lovely. Yeah, it was oh, even in our video. Oh, is it? Yeah, we had a video of us eating almond fingers. Oh, it well, was a well, right well, highlight. Oh, well, I didn't <laughs> realise that. Well, anyway, I'm eating on the heart. Uh, um, yes. Yeah, right. Anyway, we're going to get out and go and see what our mate's doing here, trying to nick our work. Oh, hi there, team. What a. It's Wednesday morning here. Uh, Wednesday morning videos just dropped, we've had some lovely comments, apparently I look like something from Blackadder, I'm not sure who, uh, but we are back on the barn, so a little issue this morning is we're running out of fixings, and try as we might, the tin to timber, 125mm tech screws with the hex washers are proving a tricky find, uh, but we're going to go further afield and James the farmer is going to nip into Cambridge to see if he can find some later on, uh, while on other errands. Anyway, what are we on today? We are on the front of the barn, people. So we have got the angle. 15 degrees is actually the roof. It's not 22, it's 15 degrees. Me and Sam were saying it was 22, it was 15 degrees. So far shallower than even we were anticipating. Uh, and we are now starting to cut the 10 foot sheets with the 15 degree angle, ready to go on the, the, the barn. Yes, all we've got to do now is find some fixings for them. Otherwise we've got to stand here holding them up all day. Alright, anyway, we'll tune in later on, guys. So we're getting on guys, we've got these first three sheets up and they fit perfectly from edge of shed to inside that steel shut. Now we're onto the smaller cuts. Now the way that the sheets work, same as the, the roof sheets, is that there's a, there's, a, there's a long edge and a short edge and the long edge laps over the short edge. And the way you need to do it really is so that the join faces away from the prevailing wind. So the wind blows against the shed this way, so in effect it never blows up the joint, always over the joint. That's how it's supposed to be done, guys. That's why we, that's why we lap the roof from roadside to yard side, because the prevailing wind comes from the road side. And that's what we're doing this side. And then we're also doing having to cut the angle. And because of the way the boards lap, they have to all go up in the same way. So once we've cut that section off this board, this board's not usable with that angle. We can't just reuse that angle because it's the wrong way around. So we've got to cut a straight edge and then go again. We could save them and flip them over and use them on the other side of the shed, but then we have to cut them again anyway because they're not going to be the right height for that side. So uh, yeah, we will cut them straight again, remeasure, go again, and we we'll get across that door. And then by the time we get across that door, we'll go back to ten sheets that. Yeah, because the 10 sheets end on that timber there. So we'll have a join run into there and then a join there, lovely. Yes, we'll have, we'll have, we should have this side done today. 
Although, like I said, we are running out of screws. We haven't got that many left. And try as we might, what I was saying earlier is that there are two types of tech screw. Where are the other bucket gone? Where's the other black bucket? You know. Uh, there are two types of these roofing tech screws. One is this type, which is the one that everyone will have seen. Uh, and it's got like a drill bit head. And these are called light section, as in light section steel. Uh, tin to light section steel. Light section steel being sort of angle and stuff, thin steel. Brilliant. They will drill through steel better than a drill bit. But they're no good for timber. That's why we need these ones with this head. So this is a steer, tin to timber fixing. And these are the ones we're struggling to find, at this length anyway. Everywhere locally, we've only got 100 mil and we want 125. But we'll get, we'll get there, we'll get there guys. So guys, now we have to move on to the top. We've got to start going on the top now, so that when we get to the other side of the door, I may have just told you this. Uh, yeah, when we get to the other side of the door, where we line with the ribs. What that means is we've got two cuts to do. We've got the angled cut at the top, and then also the corner cut, so that when you get a four board join, it doesn't sit out and leave an air gap. That's lunch, guys. Got that first little sheet up there. So we get back from lunch, get all the way up there to there, and then start on the big boards again. Lovely, and we've got some fixings. They're a bit shorter, but they work just. Who's here? Mr. B. Mr. B. Uh, we're heading back to site after our lunch. And as ever, guys, coming back to the yard for lunch is uh, give you a bit slow on the go slow. We need to ramp it up. Does it work? Does it work? Does it work? 